Where is Hashtag? Should we do that at the end, Lanty? At the end? At the end? Of the clinging aggregate of feeling in the clinging aggregate of perception, 
There are only one type of mental factor, feeling in perception. When both that dot aggregate, the reason is, in this case, what is the clinic aggregate of materiality, or what is the clinic aggregate of feeling, perception, etc. In Kanda Vaga, there is one Sota called Kanda Sota, and that Sota Buddha is playing. Yagechi Ruba Dida Nagata Bechopana Ijatama Bedawa Orarikawa Sukumawa Hinawa Badidama Yandure Sandikewa Sasa Uba Daniya Aya Hochati Rubu Badane Kando In this way Buddha is playing. What is the Kalinga aggregate of Badirabi? Whether it is past or present or future, Indane or Istane, cross or saddle, inferior or superior, far or near. All 11 types of clinic aggregates, which are the object of taste, is called the clinic aggregate of materiality. In the same way, the clinic aggregate of feeling, perception, etc., also both are taught in the same way. So, although feeling and perception are one mental factor, there are 11 types past feeling, present feeling, future feeling, internet, this kind of feeling, gross or sub subtle feeling, inferior or superior feeling, far or near feeling, all 11 types of feeling are called the plainly aggregate of feeling. In the same way, the 11 type of perception are called the clinging aggregate of perception. So because of this reason, all 11 types of clinging aggregates are called Dukkha Sitya, the noble truth of suffering. According to Buddha's teaching, materiality, clinging aggregate of materiality, rise as small body gas called Kalabas. If you want to see this Kalabas, if you want to analyze this Kalabas, how you should practice? You must practice four elements meditation system medically. If you practice four elements meditation system medically one day, you can see clubbers. And then other than you should analyze this clubbers. Other than only you will understand ultimate materiality, ultimate truth. This is one of them. Feeling, perception, formations, and consciousness, they are mental aggregates. In each mind moment, they, these four mental aggregates rise together, cease together, depending on the same place, they rise together, they gain the same object. There are six, they arise, yet there are two types of mental aggregates or mentalities. Cognitive process mentality and process free mentality. In one life, past going up like Kundinia is called what linking consciousness. Last going up mind state is called death consciousness. They are same that Between birth and death, if there are no cognitive process, at the time going up mind state arise to maintain the life, or not to cease mentality. When any cognitive process arises, it's like continuing, stop. When any cognitive process ceases, then like continuing, arise again. In this way, the whole life, li life continuing, maintain, not to cease mental process, mental series. So these two types of mentality also you must discern. There are six two cognitive process. I do cognitive process. I do ear do nose do tongue do body do mind do cognitive process. Six cognitive process. You must discern all these six two cognitive processes. But they arise according to series only. For example, I do cognitive process. 
if the object was a clear object. If you want to design this angle cognitive process, first you must design an transparent element. Secondly, you should design Poinga Mindo. Then thirdly, you should design a group of small particles color. When color invades both toes, at the day, endocognitive process will arise. And after endocognitive process, there will arise when God mind states. After the endocognitive process also will arise taking color objects. So, in endocognitive process, number one is I do everybody consciousness, then I consciousness, then receiving consciousness, then investigating consciousness, then decision consciousness, then seven impulsions, and then after that, do registering my consciousnesses. So, according to this series, they are usually arise. Sometimes object is not clear, then they may stop after the impulsion my movement. So uh, the object is more and more not clear, then they may stop at the decision consciousness by moment. So that's if object is more and more not clear, other than just vibrating or going up fully. So because of this is uh, in each my moment there are mental factors are always associated. At least there are eight types of mental factors are always associated. In some mind moments, like embarrassing mind moment, there may be that the mental factors are associated. When the Sunday ultimate mentality, you must try to understand this mind moment, these mental formations in each mind moment. So, in each mind moment, they take same object, except I. Consciousness my moment. The other mind moments arise depending on heart pace. What is heart pace? If you there's some four elements in your heart, you can see all group of small particles. These particles are called calabas. If you analyze this calabas, then you can see ultimate material. I consciousness in middle factors arise depending on eye pace. What is eye base? If you want to understand eye base, then you must get some four elements in eye You will see only clubbers. And then if you analyze this clubbers, then you will understand ultimate truths, ultimate materialities. This eye cognitive process takes the color object. Color arrays as a small body gas, clubbers only. If you analyze this class, you can understand ultimate materiality. So, for example, in I consciousness, my moment. Face, it says face is I transparent, I sensitivity face, <coughs> I transparent element. But this I transparent element has a small body gas, class. If you analyze clubbers at the day only, you get another argument materiality together with I transparent element and sensitivity. They are material degree. Color is also material degree. Then I consciousness is the aggregate of consciousness. There are seven mental factors, among seven mental factors. Feeling is the clinic brigade of feeling. Perception is the clinic brigade of perception. The remaining <coughs> five mental factors contain pollution, one pointedness, life continuity, attention, medicine, color. Life faculty, attention, medicine, color. All together, five mental factors, they are. The clinging aggregate of formations. The consciousness is the clinging aggregate of consciousness. All together form mental aggregates. 
Basic object is metal aggregate of uh, uh, glingy aggregate of metallurgy. All together, in each mind moment, five aggregates. In the same way, other mind movements also have five aggregates. So, if you want to understand five aggregates clearly, then you should try to decide in each mind moment, there are, every mind moment, there are five aggregates. These five aggregates you must try to understand. These five aggregates are the object of vipassana. These five aggregates are called the noble truth of suffering. <coughs> but not only present five aggregates, there are fast aggregates are also noble truth of suffering. Future aggregates are also noble truth of suffering. Internet or internet, all are noble truth of suffering. Without understanding the noble truth of Santari, can you realize Nibbana or not? This is one question. Hmm? Another is second noble truth, the noble truth of the origin of Safari. Yeah, Vidyama Vibhinga Pali, number one. Craving is also called Samudhya Sit. Noble truth of safari. Why? Craving is fundamental cause. If Arhat, by Arhat, but knowledge that's why craving, their commas cannot produce any more after Prinibana. So, if there is still craving, then karma can produce new existence. But if there is no craving, karma cannot produce any new existence. Because of this case, as a predominant factor, Buddha taught craving is Samudhya Siddhya, the origin of Dukkha. But craving cannot rest alone. Always rest with associated mental formations. So, seven to and ten types of defilements are also called Samudhya Siddhya. But these ten types of developments also cannot rise alone, single. They rise as a <coughs> group with associated mental factors and consciousness. So, in that we know that the all our host and demas, Agusala demas are also called the Sumuriya Siddha, the origin of Safari. But for human beings, for Devas and Pramas, both of them must have main cause to produce new existence. So these both of them are not the origin of Dukkha. So there is question. Because of this reason, Buddha also taught. Based on ignorance, craving, and clinging, if they accumulate Hosa or Ahosa and Tamas, these Hosa and Ahosa and Tamas are also called Smuriya Siddha, the origin of suffering. Among these Hosa and Tamas, Buddha also emphasized three roots Aloha, non greed, Adrasa, non hatred, Amoha, non delusion. These three are important. So, because of this reason, also Buddha taught. All Ahuza Dhammas in these three roots are also called Samuriya Sitya. But it is also not that. Why? These three roots cannot rise alone. They always rise with associated mental formations. So because of this reason, number five Buddha taught all Ahuza Dhammas and Ahuza Dhammas which can produce new existence are all called Samuriya Sitya. The noble root of the origin of safari. But again, the Thayarana Sabda of Ingodra Nikaya, Buddha taught Smuriya Siddha, the very origination is Smuriya Siddha. All Hosan Dhammas and Ahosan Dhammas which can produce new existence are also called Smuriya Siddha. The very origination is also called Smuriya Siddha. They are Semini. Semini means based on ignorance, craving, clinging, all Hosa and Ahosa Dhammas can produce new existence. In the same way, based on ignorance, Sankara formations rise. Based on, uh, depending on Sankara formations, 
We need not consciousness arise in this way both that are in the brain originating. They are same in it. So because of this reason, there are five parts causes, five present effects, five present causes, five future effects. Five past causes are ignorance, craving, clinging, foolish informations, and karmic force. Five present causes are Vinyana, Consciousness, Namaruba, Mentality, Materiality, Sanayana, Six Phases, Hasa, Contact, Urena, Feeling. In other words, they are five degrees only. So, because of the rising of past five causes, present five degrees arise. Because of the present five causes, future five degrees arise. If you understand that in this way, we can say you understand that the very origination. This the very origination is Samuriya Sitya, the noble truth of suffering. The noble truth of the origin of suffering. These two noble truths, Toga Sitya and Samuriya Sitya. The noble truth of suffering and the noble truth of the origin of suffering are called formations. These formations are the object of vipassana. You must contemplate them as nature or dukkha or naga. Sishramadigali. One day when you are inside knowledge become mature, at the day, at the end of your insight, part and project knowledge will arise. That part in project knowledge will realize Nibbana as object. Hmm? That Nibbana is the quote, that noble truth, the noble truth of the part leading to this, the noble truth of the cessation, cessation of suffering. Hmm? You know that subject. But at the day, part knowledge is associated with noble and full part. This noble evil but are called the noble truth of the but leading to the cessation of suffering. So tonight, in brief, I want to explain noble evil but. <laughs> Number one is samadhiti. Samadhiti they translate right view or right understanding. Number two is samasangaba, right thinking. Number three is samawacha, right speech. Number four is Samagamada, <coughs> right action. Number, number five is Samajiva, right livelihood. Number six is Samawayama, right effort. Number seven is Samasadi, right mindfulness. Number eight is Samasamadi, right concentration. All together, Noble Eightfold Path. If we divide this Noble Eightfold Path into two, there are two types of Noble Eightfold Paths, Mande and Subra Mande. In this Mahasri Prana Sota Buddha emphasizes only Mande Noble Eightfold Path. In Mande Noble Eightfold Path, what is Samadhi? Right understanding. Who that taught in this Mahasri Prana Sutta? Dukhi Jnana, Dukha Smuri Jnana, Dukha Nirodhi Jnana, Dukha Nirodha Gamini Yavri Vraya Jnana. The knowledge, the knowledge of Nova Truth of Safari, the knowledge of the Nova Truth of the Origin of Safari, the Nova Truth of the Nova Truth of the Cessation of Safari, the knowledge of the Nova Truth of the but leading to the cessation of suffering. These four types of knowledge are called samadhiji, right understanding. So if you want <laughs> to fulfill or to follow noble equal path, then number one, you must try to understand these four types of noble truths. Among these four noble truths, number one and number two, Noble truth of suffering and noble truth of the origin of suffering, these two are the object of vipassana. When you are contemplating these two types of formations as nature to another, Sama Sankaba always applies these two objects. 
นิจจนิจจโอทุกขนิจจโอนัตตานิจจโอ this formation this two noble truths สมาวัยมา is right effort to understand นิจจนิจจทุกขนิจจนัตตานิจจโอ this two types of noble truths สมาสติ is always mindfulness on this นิจจนิจจทุกขนิจจนัตตานิจจโอ this two noble truths สมาสมาดิ is right concentration At that day, this samasamadhi is vipassana samasamadhi. But before vipassana samasamadhi, Buddha taught samasamadhi as five jhanas, seven jhanas, five jhanas, four jhanas. Based on these jhanas, if they practice four elements, meditation, system, medical, they can clearly see this ultimate mental and material material. So because of this reason, samatha jhanas also Buddha taught samasamadhi as samasamadhi. But in this case, when they are contemplating vipassana, at the day, samasamadhi means the concentration on the nature, nature, dhoka, nature, or another nature of these four, two noble truths, dhoka, sejja, and smuriya, sejja. This concentration is called samasamadhi. This is momentary samadhi, kaniga samadhi. While you are contemplating vipassana, before you are practicing vipassana, usually you observe precepts. You abstinence from wrong speech, abstinence from right, wrong action, abstinence from wrong livelihood. These are morality, three depth, the training of morality. So based on This training of morality, you practice samatha jhana, then you practice vipassana. At the day, noble equal parts are present. To understand this noble equal part, when you are contemplating vipassana, when you are co inside knowledge become mature at the day, then you must also contemplate your inside knowledge as nature to God nada. When you are contemplating your inside knowledge as nature to God nada. There are 34 mental formations. 34 mental formations are always associated with your insight knowledge. Among these 34, there, there are Samadhiti, Samasangabha, Samawayama, Samasadhi, Samasamadhi. These five noble, noble parts are always present. So at the end, you will understand these noble parts. Again, sometimes you must contemplate Sama Vacha, Sama Kamada, Sama Ajiva, right speech, right action, right livelihood. These three noble parts also you must contemplate as nature to God. They are also always rise above the due cognitive process and with associated mental formations. At that time also you will understand these three types of noble truths. So when you are contemplating vipassana, you can understand mundane, noble, and full part. When you are inside, become mature one day, at the end of you are inside. But the inclusion knowledge will arise, which realize nibbana as object. Hmm? At the day, but knowledge is associated with noble and full part. These noble and full parts are Subramandi, noble and full part. Other than Samadhi is right understanding to the Nibbana object. Samasangabha is obligation of the mind to the Nibbana object. Samawayama is right effort to understand the Nibbana object. Samasadhi is right mindfulness on the Nibbana object. Right mindfulness of the Nibbana object. Sama Samadhi is right mindfulness of the Nibbana object only. Other than Sama Vaja, right speech, Sama Kamada, right action, Sama Ajiva, right livelihood, these three are also present. All together, there are noble eightfold paths. These noble eightfold paths are called Subramani noble eightfold paths. 
So do a do a day supremely noble in full part. You must try to fulfill Monday noble in full part. part, part. Hmm? So after the we was in the inside become major work at the end of we was in the inside. Subra Mani Nobel in Pong Pak will arise. So all together there are four noble truths. Without understanding the, these four noble truths, one meditator can realize Nibbana or not. Can destroy all defilements or not. Hmm? Maybe at the beginning of our tomato. Hmm? We coated one soda. Hmm? Our Swakriya soda. Hmm? I will recite this soda again. Hmm? Again, I say, again, because I say that the destruction of the details is for one who, who knows and sees, not for one who does not know and does not see. For one who knows what, for one who sees what, the destruction of the details comes about. Comes about. For one who knows and sees, this is the noble, uh, the destruction of the days comes about for one who knows and sees, this is the noble truth of suffering. This is the noble truth of the origin of suffering. This is the noble truth of the, the cessation of suffering. This is the noble truth of the path leading to the cessation of suffering. Because it is for one who knows that. Who sees that it is for one who sees that that the destruction of the days comes about. Therefore, because an exertion should be made to understand this is no way true of suffering. An exertion should be trying to understand. An exertion should be made to understand. This is the no way true of the origin of suffering. An exertion should make to understand. This is the noble truth of the cessation of suffering. In exaggeration should, in should make to understand. This is the noble truth of the but leading to the cessation of suffering. And this we put that thought. Hmm? So because of this reason, without understanding of four noble truths, one cannot attain rahasya. If one cannot attain rahasya, one cannot become noble one. So please try to understand four noble truths. To understand four noble truths, how you should practice? Again, again, I had been told. Hmm? I had told. Samadhi bhikkhu bhavita, samadhi da bhikkhu bhikkhu yata bhuta bhajana bhikkhu develop concentration. A bhikkhu who is concentrated understand the tamas as they really are. But tamas who will understand? He will understand that this is the word truth of suffering. This is the noble truth of the origin of suffering. This is the noble truth of the cessation of suffering. This is the noble truth of the but hidden to the cessation of suffering. In this way, put that thought. So please emphasize concentration also. Based on concentration, please get some ultimate mentality, material in their causes, and contemplate as nature to come better. One day, when you are inside Vega with you, you may realize Nibbana by your part in Christian knowledge. May all of you attain Nibbana very soon. <laughs> <laughs>
So all together in Guyanese business is done that put that dot pudding with. In the same way, another is within a new business session, another is taking a new business session. In, in the man new person put that dot pack session. Number one is pack new runner session, entrance session. Number two is six six basis session. Uh, pack, uh, number three is pipe brigade session. Number four is seven enlightenment fighter session. Number five is all over troop session. All together there are uh, uh, seven, one, one, five, 21. 21, 21 sessions. Each session, whereas you are practicing Kayani personal or maybe any session. At the beginning, for example, Anabana, at the beginning, you must listen Anabana of the fourth channel, it is true. But based on fourth channel, again, you must try to design ultimate mentality, ultimate material. And then they are causes, and then you must contemplate them as a nature to that matter. If you can do it in this way, then you get a great hardship. So Anabana session one also that. At the beginning, both that emphasize only Gaya, Rupa Gaya. Although Rupa Gaya alone, you know, uh, 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 if you contemplate <coughs> ultimate materiality alone, you cannot realize Nibbana. Because of this reason, you must also contemplate ultimate materiality as nature to God. When you are contemplating materiality, there are three ways. Number one is you may emphasize feeling. But feeling alone cannot arise. Feeling always arises with associated material formation. So, if you emphasize feeling, then you, you should also design associated mental formations. But feeling right depending on base. Without base, feeling cannot arise. Without object, feeling cannot arise. Base and object are ultimate materiality. So, if you emphasize feeling, then ultimate materiality, materiality all are included. In the same way, if you emphasize consciousness, you can emphasize consciousness, but consciousness always arises with associated mental information. To show this meaning, Buddha says in Chaitanya Nupasana, Saraga Nupasana, Chaitanya Saraga, Chaitanya Nupasana, the consciousness with craving, you must try to understand the consciousness with craving, etc. In this way, Buddha hmm? talks. So associated mental information also you must design. They also rise depending on base. Taking materiality as object. So object and base are ultimate materiality. Consciousness and associated mental formations are ultimate materiality. So same. Hmm? Then five Greek method, five hindrance method, six uh, dual, six sense based method, hmm? all are nearly the same. So in every case, in every session, if you practice systematically and thoroughly, you can attain Nibbana. But, Buddha explain in conclusion, if you practice in this way only, not other ways. If you practice diligently in this way, within seven days eh, or within seven years, you can realize Nibbana. You can be a Nagami or you can be a Arha. In this way, for that talk. But this is as a missing man. Hmm? In one so that like Bodhi Raza Kumara, Chokda, Buddha says, if he admonish one disciple, he can begin Arha in the evening. In this way also Buddha taught. So because of this reason, this is Mazima only. Hmm? So if you write this, according to Mahasri Brana, so that way, hmm? you may realize Nibbana. Okay. Any Uh, you said uh, I, I, it's not a question, it's, a, it's an appreciation. You've come all the way from Burma to teach us this path of purification leading to liberation. And teaching this full understanding of the true Dhamma 
in our language and also transmitting with Holly the real Dhamma. Mm. So this is historical and profound and the gift of truth excels all other gifts. Any question? <laughs> <laughs> no question. <laughs> <laughs> you can discuss openly, no much problem. Hmm? Many questions, that's not finished, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> It's not a question. <laughs> I, I, I would just like to make a gift, if, if I may. And so I have a couple of things I'd like to say, if it's okay. Um, I'd like to dedicate the uh, um, Rupa Kalapas in that, in that projector <laughs> <laughs> uh, to uh, Venerable Paak Saida. Uh, the teachers uh, and monks uh, and nuns of Paak Monastery. Uh, and I want to thank you for presenting the teachings of the Buddha in such a pure, sweet, and funny way. <laughs> uh, I want to thank also Sister Dipankara, she's not here, of course, uh, Venerable Sudha, Sudhamachara, and Sister Susila for their fine teaching. Uh, I thank Kim, Robert, Astrid, and Sergio for providing essentials, uh, and the yogis who helped me make progress, and everyone else for providing a supportive environment, and Dr. Kwang Wu for driving me to Santa Rosa today in his rocket ship. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'd like to uh, share uh, uh, merit with everyone here, uh, with my father and those in the lower realms and present this uh, projector to you. And I don't know if we can set it up quickly, but I can just show you a brief picture of some tropical birds, if you'd like. see the pictures. Yes, but it's going to take a few minutes. Okay. It comes with a three-year international uh, service warranty. <laughs> so if you have a problem, you just call a, a number, and they'll find a place in Asia to, to, to uh, support it. And you can see the projector's only three or four feet away from the screen, and the screen is about that size, and, and the maximum is 15 feet wide. a little slow so we have to see if, if, if it's going to take a few minutes
Uh, Did you? Rather? Just turn it on. Yeah. Is it for the new The ones from the first day are in another disc. Sahat, 
Yajami, Kama Yajami, Nugahan Kadwa, Nugahan Kadwa, Sihan Deta, Sihan Deta, Vibande, Vibande, Dudiyambi, Dudiyambi, Hambande, Hambande, Israni Naksaha, Israni Naksaha, Pancha Sila, Pancha Sila, Kama Yajami, Kama Yajami, Nugahan Kadwa, Nugahan Kadwa, Sivandeta, Vibande, Vibande, Adiyambi, Adiyambi, Hambande, Hambande, Isanina Saha, Isanina Saha, Pancha Sila, Pancha Sila, Nama Yajami, Nama Yajami, Nugahan Kadwa, Nugahan Kadwa, Sivandeta, Sivandeta, Vibande, Vibande, Ya, Ajima, Ajima, so, so, yang 
day-to-day life, what they've tasted on retreat, how do they um, keep the practice going, and is it possible to deepen the practice in ordinary life? They can maintain their concentration, it may be possible, but human life is very difficult to see, because we have many duties. So because of this reason, as far as they can, they should practice. In daily activity, there may be many wholesome and unwholesome demands oh, will be welcoming. So when unwholesome demands are coming at the day, please quickly neglect. How oh, you should neglect? Sabe, Sankara, Nija, everything is impermanent. <laughs> this is a good way. Hmm? Yeah. This is one reason. Another reason is <coughs> we should always reflect. The danger of the most of the mass. Hmm? They will produce to be reborn in four whole states. Always remember this. Hmm? So, in this way, uh, reflecting this way, you should neglect any uh, whole of the mass. Hmm? As far well as you must accumulate whole of the mass, how you should accumulate? If you are practicing anabana, as far well as you can, you must pay attention to the anabana object only. In daily life, it is not easy for higher concentration. But sometimes you may have any opportunity to sit. Hmm? Other than you may be able to concentrate your meditation on, on your meditation object. So, some persons among this hmm? meditators so are successful, partially, partially means some time meditation may be successful. Hmm? At least two or three hours a day, they should meditate okay. to maintain this concentration. On. If they cannot do, there yeah, are many problems. <laughs> many problems if you do not remember this meditation. Meditation object also will not remember to you. <laughs> <laughs> this is natural. So, as far as you can, you should maintain your concentration not to fall down. Hmm? Daily activity is very difficult, but for daily activity, if you understand a bit of it is very helpful. Hmm? Oh, this is a whole son I must not accept this whole son <coughs> This is a whole son I must accumulate this whole son In this way, you can distinguish. If you do not understand what is a whole son what is a whole son it is not easy to reject a wholesome dharma and to accumulate wholesome dharma because they do not understand. So please try to understand oh, this is a wholesome dharma, this is a wholesome dharma. I must reject this a wholesome dharma, I must accumulate this wholesome dharma. In this way you should have such strong confidence. Such type of confidence is intelligent, is very necessary. 
So please try as far as you can. Hmm? Sa 